Uh, I thought we answered, uh, you know, we answered the call in terms of, you know, upping our energy and not having a um, kind of feel out process like we had to begin the game. Um, we challenged our guys in the third quarter and uh, big credit to them. You know, they were aggressive. Um, they moved the basketball. Um, I thought we got great shots uh, to start the, start the half and, um, you know, force them to call a timeout. And, uh, you know, we were able to kind of find some things uh, there. And then defensively, I thought we were um, solid. Before the game, Jim Boylan said that D'Angelo is kind of one of the underrated passers in the league that maybe his scoring kind of overshadows it. Even though he had only had four assists, did you just see him be able to find guys yeah. and, and really open things up for yeah. hockey assists, things like you know, that? A lot of times against the Blitz or against, you know, almost a flat show like Chicago, you know, there's a reason Chicago's um, number one in the league when it comes to steals and, and forcing turnovers. Um, you know, they, they're really aggressive in their ball screens. Um, coverage wise and for D'Angelo to be able to make that pass consistently and continue to make that pass usually it's the second or third pass out of there that's going to get the shot so you're typically not getting the assist but he was leading to the hockey assist first time in nearly two months that you piled back-to-back -back victories uh, how does that feel and just in terms yeah. of stepping stones for what yeah. you're trying to build here no, with that's, this team? that's more what it is it, it's it's a building you know stepping stones but um, hey I mean it when I say we take every game, you know, like you're zero and zero. I mean, that's the approach that we have to have because um, there were a lot of things that we could have done better tonight. Um, and there were a lot of things we could have done better last night. There were a lot of things we did well when, you know, we weren't picking up wins. Um, so we need to continue to work. And, and I was really happy with um, the shots and the extra passes that guys were making tonight um, and some of the things that they were able to do defensively where we, we were able to kind of feel comfortable enough that, that we could stay in our um, standard coverages um, that we began the game with, uh, with some minor tweaks um, as the game went on. You've, you know, you've said that uh, turnovers were probably going to be an issue mm -hmm. as this group gets to know each other. High number tonight, but yeah. how, how well do they do in terms of moving on from it and, and still finding ways to execute and, and get yeah. good shots, even uh, if the numbers are high? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they do. I mean, that, that's offensively, that's the... Uh, you know, the, the thing that sticks out, uh, you know, to you, you know, looking at a stat sheet that as a coach, you want to make sure to clean up because, you know, to win consistently in this league, uh, you can't be a high turnover team. You know, you want to be a low turnover team, high assist group. And, you know, that's what this system calls for. And um, we'll get better with it. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of the trade off, too, at times when you play are looking to play fast. Um, sometimes some of those possessions are a little erratic, and especially with a group that's trying to, um, find its chemistry and get to know each other. It seems like you guys, especially the last couple of games, have not played tight at all. You've played really in a flow and seem yeah. to be enjoying yeah. the game as you're playing it. And it seemed like every, every guy every guy you play tonight is within a shot of 50% mm -hmm. uh, from the field. Yeah. Is that – did those two things go together, do you think, to some extent? Yeah, I think they do. And I think that, you know, when – Hey, whenever you pick up wins, you feel better about yourself, you know, because it's validation in, in a lot of ways that you're doing the right things. And, uh, you know, that, you know, we don't want to want to harp on any one win, but that Miami win was big for this group right. to go into an environment like that. And you see what a team like Miami is doing right now. Um, you know, w the way they play, um, they're playing well. And, you know, for that group to come together um, and then even on that long, you know, six, seven day road trip to be able to do some things, um, you know, away from the basketball court. Uh, you know, James has brought this group together a lot. I mean, there's been a number of guys in this team um, that have done that. Uh, I think that's translated to the court and translates, translated to some confidence, um, even as guys try to figure out um, where somebody might be on the court at a certain time, offensively, defensively. It James is, uh, seems to have put some levity. I mean, it's really hard to have, like, smiles and yeah. laughter in the middle of a game, but yeah. he seems to be injecting that quite a bit. He does. He does. It's not all smiles and laughter, too, no, no. but uh, I love it. I mean, it's, it's, fun to, it's fun to be around. I mean, hey, I, I, get, you know, I get confidence from him. I get energi energized from him. Um, you know, it's, he, he's, he's a guy that, that you like having on your side. I know that. Nas is getting a lot of minutes, a lot of experience, and he, and he seems to be using it to progress uh, his game. Where are you seeing the most growth out of him right now? I mean, he's rebounding the basketball, um, and he was challenged 
uh, after getting, you know, having having a game where you know he only had one rebound. Um, but you know, when I say that Nas is is an individual that does anything that's asked of him, he does anything that is asked of him, and that that is his workout in terms of his workouts. You know, whatever he's he's doing. You know, if you tell him, you know, hey, you, you got, you know, you tell him in summer league, you got, we we need you to be in better shape. He he was fully committed, and you know, these minutes these minutes are earned too. Um, even though even though obviously we're down on some numbers and down at that position uh, with Carl being out, um, Nas has earned, earned these minutes, and for him to, you know, he has another double double. I mean, 16 points, 11 rebounds. Um, you know, on a back to back after defending, you know, a guy like Zion last night. Um, it's a it's a big credit to Nas, and I, I hope people give him that credit. Uh, Ryan, with you rotated D'Angelo a little bit different tonight. When I was getting Jordan in earlier, mm -hmm. playing him alongside Jordan, who's obviously just been playing really well for you guys lately. H how much of that was co kind of compensating for a back to back, mm -hmm. and how much is it just wanting to see Jordan out there? Both, both. But um, the back to back is you know we're mindful. You know we're, we're a group that. Um, you know, we believe in taking care of these guys too, and making sure that we're looking at all the data and we're looking at, um, you know, putting them in the best position to succeed. Um, you know, not just you know last night and tonight, but continuing to move forward. Um, so part of it was you know getting him off the ball a little bit too, and then also part of it was you know Chicago defensively, um, you know, getting him off the ball where he can be a guy that hey. Jordan comes off, they're off a little bit in pick and rolls. We hit the short roll guy like we talked about with D'Angelo and the hockey assist, get him off the ball a little bit. Who called the timeout that the ref heard in the first quarter? Uh, it was, we, I was calling for subs, and uh, we, he was standing right there, and guys started getting up, and I said timeout coming to the, to the players coming up, and Courtney had, had uh, overheard that. So yeah, it, it, was a, it was an honest you know, that, that's not on Courtney. I mean, it's, it's not. He's standing right there. It was going to be our timeout anyway, so thanks, guys.